I get asked all the time, how do I invest in stocks? How do I invest in real estate? How do I invest in Bitcoins? In today's video, I'm gonna show you the baby steps that I followed so I'm able to do all of my investing. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Bruce Wang. For anybody who doesn't know me, I'm a real estate investor. I'm a dividend investor. Now I just turned YouTuber. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how I started my investing journey and how I'm able to save up so much money so that I'm able to put it into the stock market, put it into real estate and all of that. First things first, if you have not followed me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram right now. I post pretty much daily on my dividend investing and uh, my renovations on my real estate projects. So go follow me if you haven't followed me yet. In today's video, we're going to go over Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to building wealth. This is very practical, very logical, seven very easy steps to follow. If you guys don't know who Dave Ramsey is, uh, this is a photo of Dave Ramsey. This is his Instagram page. He's a personal finance guru. Um, he first started off in real estate and uh, he lost all of it in real estate and then he came back he built up his wealth yet again and uh, now here we are he he has a very big podcast he has a very big youtube channel and i think right now he makes most of his money through those avenues and uh, he helps a lot of people build their wealth as well through his um, seven baby steps so if you guys want some further proof go on to his instagram and you'll see a lot of couples, a lot of people following these seven baby steps to get out of debt. Um, let's take a look at this couple. These guys paid off $132,000, paid off in 23 months. Now they're debt free. Here is another guy. I am debt free, $68,776 in 28 months. Uh, he looks like he did it by himself. He doesn't have like a wife or anything in the photo. That is amazing to see all these people um, being able to pay off their debt. Uh, let's take a look at this couple here. Crushed $35,405 in five months and saved thirteen and saved thirteen thousand dollars in interest. We're debt free. I'm pretty sure that all these people are real people. You can even go into their Instagram page and you know follow them there. And these people are just like me and you, living their life day to day, trying to get debt free, trying to build their wealth. So let's take a look at another couple. We're debt free, $417,882 and 47 cents in 24 months. These guys must have very high salaries to be able to pay uh, that much debt in two years. I can't 100% verify that these people are 100% debt free, but more likely than not, I think that, you know, these type of stories are more true than not true. So if you guys want to dig a little deeper into these persons live and be a creeper, you guys are going to go right ahead, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. So all of these people are following Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps, or at least a variation of it. Like me, I follow a variation of these seven baby steps and I'm going to go over each and every single step with you. And then you'll be able to know why I'm able to invest the way I invest. So this is another quick summary of Dave Ramsey and what he's uh, been to. He's a radio host and a businessman now, but basically before he was in real estate, and uh, Dave Ramsey has come a long way since filing for personal bankruptcy in the early years. Uh, with his estimated net worth of 55 million, he's living proof that anyone can turn a bad financial situation around. So that's why he's very inspirational to me and to a lot of other people as well, to be able to come from basically bankruptcy to, um, to building himself up until now. And uh, jumping around a little bit, I'm on his website now, so I'm gonna shed light on the seven baby steps here. So what are the baby steps? Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps will show you how to save for emergencies, pay off all your debt for good, build wealth, and it's not a fairy tale or a nice story for anyone else. This is a proven practical way for you to change your life step by step. So I'm gonna go over every single baby step, some of them a lot easier to do than um, others, and I'll let you know which step I'm on, and uh, let's get to it. So baby step one, save $1,000, for your starter emergency fund. So this is the first step and the easiest step to do, saving $1,000. You do not want to be living paycheck to paycheck, guys. Some easy ways you can do this is, um, you know, do a side hustle, sell some stuff on eBay around the house that you don't need, or you can just, you know, stop spending on useless stuff that you don't really need. Anything you can do to save $1,000, just do it. And most likely you should be doing it legally. So baby step number two here is to pay off all debt except the house using the debt snowball. This one's gonna be a lot harder for anyone that has student loans, a big credit card debt, 
and um, a car loan and stuff like that. So this could take you months to do like the, everyone in those photos um, on Instagram. It could take you a few months to do. Sometimes it takes some of those guys two years to do so. But if they're able to do it, you should be able to do it. Um, I do not have any debt right now. I'm debt free. I have credit cards that I pay off every single month. Um, all of my cars, I own them and all of my student loans already paid off a long time ago. Getting this step done is going to really help you out. You do not want to start investing in the stock market yet because all the interest from all your debt is going to be most likely higher than your returns from your investments in the stock market. Guaranteed. It's going to be a lot higher unless you're some type of like stock trading genius, which most likely you're not if you're watching this video. So here is a great illustration of what the debt snowball is. Basically, you list all of your debts in order from smallest to biggest, and then you're going to be paying off the smallest debt first. And, you know, this is like going to psychologically make you better at paying off debt. You know, this is like you're getting your repetitions in. You're paying off your debt again and again and again. So then after all your small debts are gone, you go for your medium and then you go for your, you know, larger debts. This is the psychology behind this method. You're building up your um, ability to handle your own money, handle your own debts. And um, this is like a muscle and uh, it can get bigger and stronger. So baby step three is to save three to six months of expenses in a fully funded emergency fund. So if you haven't, so if you do not know how much money you spend every single month, I use a website called Mint and I track all my expenses on there. It's free for everyone to use and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's very safe. I've been using it for a few years now. So I log in, um, I sign up for an account, put all my information in there and uh, you know, my bank account information, you know, my bills, my Robinhood account is on there as well. My M1 finance account is on there as well. And they're and I'm able to track every single transaction that goes in and out of that account. I know exactly my net worth. It'll, it'll give you that. It'll give you your credit score. It's a really great website to use. Um, I really recommend it for everyone. If you guys are more old school and you guys kind of don't trust like these types of website, you can just do it by hand. I also do it by hand with, um, with Google Drive, I created like a, a spreadsheet on there and I'm able to, you know, budget out every single month how much I spend. And on average, I spend anywhere in between like 4,000 and 5,000 every single month. That's all my total expenses for my entire family. So that is kind of small. I'm not sure if everyone can do that. It might be higher to some, it might be lower to some, but, but you should know exactly how much money you need to survive on a month to month basis though. Um, that is, that is really important information. So for me, I have about $30,000 saved up in my emergency fund. So hopefully no emergency happens, knock on wood. And the last thing about baby step number three, you'll have a lot of peace of mind just because if anything does happen, crazy happens, uh, you'll, you'll able to survive. And uh, right now you're not living month to month anymore. So baby step number four, this is where the magic starts to happen. Uh, invest 15% of your household income in retirement. So when it comes to Dave Ramsey's way, he wants you to invest in a 401k. He wants you to invest in your uh, Roth IRA. And for anyone that works a nine to five, I think that is a great way to do it because um, a lot of these accounts are uh, tax advantage accounts. So you have that working for you. And uh, this is where you start to think about your future a lot more because you're literally saving for your retirement now. And hopefully you want to retire early like um, like me. Um, I'm trying to retire in the next you know five to 10 years. I don't wanna be working when I'm 55 years old, 60 years old and stuff like that. Um, I wanna be able to live life while I'm still young. This might be boring to you, but this is not boring for me. Um, this actually gets me very excited to do. Baby step number five is to save for your children's college fund. Um, if you're not planning to have any children, you guys can probably just skip this. But for me, I have a child, so I kind of have to do this. So two smart ways to save for your ch children's college would be in a um, 529 college savings plan or an ESA uh, educating education savings account. I don't know anything about these two things, but I read a lot of personal finance blogs. I've, I'm on the Reddit personal finance and they always talk about this as well. I think these are also tax advantage accounts. So uh, you should be able to take advantage of this, put some money away if you have children or if you're planning to do this. So for me, I'm going to be doing this a little bit different. I'm investing in real estate for my kids college fund. So I have a mortgage on this uh, duplex right here and I'm going to be aggressively trying to pay off this mortgage. So over the next 18 or so years, my tenants will be paying off the mortgage 
uh, month to month to month and I'll be slowly building up that equity and then when my um, kid decides to go to college if they want to or not they'll have the option to refinance this property take out that money take out all that equity pay for college when they need to and uh, that's my plan um, it's a little bit different than Dave Ramsey's plan I don't have all those like special programs that I'm gonna be putting my money away into uh, I just I'm just gonna be doing it with real estate and uh, that's just my way of doing it so the next so baby step number six is to pay off your home early uh, this is what I was able to do this is gonna be a lot harder that's why it's baby step number six if you have a million dollar home this is gonna be a lot more difficult for you to do I live in a very modest house very affordable I would say very affordable um, I was able to you know pay off my mortgage very early through my savings through my all my work that I put in throughout the years and for anybody who is just starting out looking for their first house to buy this might seem very difficult for you but uh, try to live below your means um, a lot of people just coming out of college just getting their first job they kind of try to go for that house that um, you know keeping up with the Jones style you don't want to max out all your money to buy a very expensive house uh, you want to go the other way if you can try to house hack I made a video about house hacking uh, you know you buy a duplex you rent out the other side uh, and your tenants will help you pay off your mortgage or you can house hack a single family house where you have three bedrooms you live in one bedroom you're t and you rent out the other two bedrooms to your roommates and they're paying off your mortgage very slowly um, these are the uh, these are the ways that real estate investors uh, build up wealth very quickly and with those two tips you know live very modestly uh, below your means and house hacking you should be able to do step number six a lot faster than everybody else yeah so don't get caught up with the Joneses when it comes to this step um, that will really slow you down when it comes to building up your wealth step number seven is to build wealth and to give my way of giving is uh, sharing my journey through this YouTube channel through my Instagram and uh, giving some tips and stuff that help me along the way that's my way of giving I would say I do the bare minimum uh, like around a thousand dollars a year or maybe even less than that and that is because I'm very strict when it comes to my budget and I always try to track my and I'm tracking my budget every single month like I was saying in step number three building wealth is where I'm at in my journey um, I'm able to save a decent amount of money every single month I saved up I think two over two thousand dollars that I'm throwing into the stock market every single month right now I put a lot of my money into my Robinhood account two hundred dollars every single week my M1 finance account I'm putting two hundred dollars every single week as well that is one driving force of my channel if you guys didn't know a lot of people come for that type of content and uh, I'll give you a quick update on that at the end of this video my Robinhood account this is how I'm building my wealth now I'm putting money into the stock market and to real estate I'm saving up a lot more money when it comes to real estate so I can reinvest it in real estate so I'm not gonna really disclose that to you because I'm not very comfortable disclosing that but I save up a lot more when it comes to real estate this video is not to flex on you this video is more of to show you that all of this is possible all of these people did it you know all these people on um, Dave Ramsey's Instagram has done it I can't 100% verify that they did it but so take it for what it is so try out the seven baby steps for yourself it's not gonna hurt more likely than not it's gonna improve your life um, a lot more so here is a quick snapshot of my Robinhood account six thousand two hundred dollars ish so if you guys want to see more videos from me go check out some of my Robinhood videos M1 videos if you haven't already drop me a like on this video subscribe for more content just like this hit that notification to know all the videos that are coming out every single week and I'll catch you guys on the next one love you 3000 bye bye